Hey everybody, it's Lex from PDQ.com. I'm gonna take you through how to export a package from PDQ Deploy so that you can share it or move it to another uh, console, you know, send it to one of your colleagues who doesn't have access to your file share or something. So uh, the first thing we need to do is understand kind of the file structure. Uh, to do that, let's go look at your repository. And to get there, you go to Options, Preferences, Repository. Now, here it is, the repository is located you know, and, and your packages from us, you can use the repository variable. Why this is important is I'm going to open that file up, right? And we're going to export Mozilla Firefox. So I'm going to need to know where those install files exist. So here are these, the uh, install files for Firefox located in the Firefox directory, 64-bit directory, okay? Why is that important? Well, when I go to and right click on Firefox 64 bit and I hit export, it's going to export an XML file, which is awesome. I'm just going to put it on the desktop so we can kind of go through this. Uh, again, you might want to put that on a file share or on a USB drive so you can, you know, transfer it to someone. But this is what that file looks like. First of all, I'm going to go to properties. And if you notice, this is a 13 kilobyte file. That install file is significantly larger than that. So all this XML file is, if you open it up using, say, Notepad or something, is the instructions. This is what it looks like. Okay, It's the instructions on how to do the installation. Okay, Again, if you make your own packages, this will be instructions for how those packages are to be executed and run in the steps, so on and so forth. So what we do need to do is include the install files. So I'm going to open up uh, Firefox, right? And, and you'll notice right here on the install file, look, it's looking in under Mozilla Firefox 64 and looking for that file right there. So I need to include that file with uh, that MSI file with this XML. Now, on the flip side, when you import it, so again, I'm just going to jump out to the repository and I'm going to go copy that, all right? So references, repository, open that file. I'm just going to grab the entire Mozilla directory and I'm going to copy it out to, well, I'm going to put it on the desktop at this point, but you'd put that on your USB drive or wherever you're going to transfer it from. And then again, the other thing you're going to want to do off this copy is go and make sure that you only send the one you need, which is that MSI. And then I would leave any of the peripheral files with it. So to bundle this up, I need to send the XML file and the directory with it so that when it's imported, uh, it can be when it's imported. So well, why don't I do that? I'm going to delete this. I'm going to go out and we'll go to the repository and we're going to delete the file there and then we're going to go import it so that we can see what it looks like if the files are not there. So your Firefox, let's just get rid of all of these files, right? These are the install files. They're gone now. All right. So at this point now, I have sent the XML file to say a colleague. I right click, I go to import, I go select my XML file, there it is, I open it up, it imports, and it's going to start looking for where those files exist, right? So as I open this up, there it is, server cannot find the files, so I need to now put the install files, all the files it's looking for, back in the repository. So on your buddy's machine or your other console, once again, you're going to need to navigate over to your repository folder that's there, and then drop the files in the appropriate location or relocate the files you're looking for or point them, point the package to the new files. It's just easier to put the files, I think, where they belong. Once you do that, there we go. We no longer have the problem of it's looking for the install files. So here's the takeaway from this, guys. The XML files, the instructions on how to do the installation. Hey, when you move the MSI files, it's good to move the path with it. Okay. Or at least when you put it, put it back in the path, or you do have to go in and change your path on the install file. So that's how you export and import packages from PDQ deploy. Hopefully that was uh, clearer than mud. I don't know, but I uh, appreciate you guys watching. This is Lex from PDQ.com.